All right, WSA 9 staying on top. Breaking news in Capitol Hill and the Eastern Market neighborhood. Listen to this. DC police confirmed that the medical examiner collected five fetuses from inside the home of an anti-abortion protester. Her name, Lauren Handy. Handy has just been indicted on a charge of invading and blocking access to a DC health clinic. Now, WSA 9 broke this story. We were outside the home. Remember this yesterday on 6th Street Southeast when police were carrying out that raid. Officers walked out carrying red biohazard bags and coolers. That's never a good sight. WSA 9's Bruce Lachan live there with more on some of the shocking revelations our team was able to uncover today. Bruce, good evening. Yeah, Adam, I'm telling you what, kind of a bizarre, gruesome house of horrors here in a crowded D.C. neighborhood. D.C. police say they found those five fetuses right down here in this apartment, which is connected to that anti-abortion activist, Lauren Handy. Police say the investigation is ongoing, which leaves us with a ton of questions. Like, where did the human fetuses come from? Why did she keep them? And what was she planning to do with them? Police carried a cooler and several biohazard bags out of the home on Wednesday. Anti-abortion activist Lauren Handy, outside her home after her release on federal charges, told WUSA 9 people would freak out when they heard what police had found inside her home. Abortion is the most painful type of murder dismembering a child alive with no anesthetic. Handy was among nine people indicted by a federal grand jury Wednesday for allegedly invading Washington Surgery Clinic on October 22nd, 2020. If you die in the procedure, abortion procedure, you can wake up in a place you don't want to be. The anti-abortion activists chained themselves to chairs in a waiting room. I'm Jonathan Darnell. And protester Jonathan Darnell of Arlington live streamed the whole thing to Facebook. You would cry out in agony. Your mind would be twisted with pain if you could spend one minute in hell. Handy, Darnell, and seven others were charged under the 1994 Freedom of Access to Clinic Entrances Act, which had fallen into disuse under the Trump administration. Planned Parenthood of Metropolitan Washington CEO says she knows several of the people indicted. They have protested at our facility on 4th Street um, here in the district uh, many times um, and have been disruptive. They have harassed patients. Uh, they have obstructed patients. Um, and no one should have to experience that intimidation uh, for trying to access health care. Now, Washington Surgery Clinic uh, declined to comment when we called them, so we really don't know whether the fetuses came from there or from someplace else. D.C. police are leading the investigation into the fetuses, and they say it's really ongoing, so we don't know if or when or what kind of charges might be uh, filed in connection with those fetuses. A guy with keys to the house came up to us just a little bit over an hour ago, and he said there is going to be a news conference on Tuesday, and it's going to be big. But to, beyond that, he refused to say anything at all. Adam? All of this, Bruce, is just extremely bizarre. And, and do we know anything about Handy's group being involved with human fetuses before? Yeah, yeah, this is uh, this is interesting. Right at the top of their website, there's a big picture they, they say shows human fetuses being improperly stored uh, at the University of Washington uh, at a health center or a medical school at the University of Washington. Uh, fetuses, baby parts, they say, stored in plastic bags, paper bags uh, in a freezer. But again, we don't know if that has anything to do with what's going on here. Yeah, very strange. It's, uh, so many things still need to be unraveled here. Bruce Chandler, Forrest in the Capitol Hill neighborhood in D.C. Thanks, Bruce.